Hello, friends. I'm delighted to welcome you to this webinar on key features of TCAT Pro. The primary objective of TCAT Pro software is to export masters and vouchers from Tally to Excel in a few clicks so that you can provide better assurance. This software has been primarily designed for CA firms and their teams. I'm C. Abdul Rafiq, Managing Director of Windsor Infotech Limited. In this webinar, <coughs> we'll cover the key concepts of TCAT Pro and also give you a practical demo of most of the functions to show you how simple and easy it is to use this software. This gives you a brief profile. I've been passionate about information technology and I started this company more than a quarter century ago, primarily for empowering CEAs and CXOs to apply thought to technology. I get fascinated by seeing technology work to solve business problems. <coughs> the TCAT Pro belongs to the family of the TCAT suite of software whose primary focus is to automate from Tally to Excel. There are two versions, TCAT Enterprise, which is also has additional audit features. And this webinar will have TCAT Pro. This is a broad vision of a company. We aspire to be a global leading solution provider in data analytics for empowering professionals to realize the potential by applying thought to technology. And we believe in developing innovative solutions, primarily focused on CAs and CXOs. Those of you who are watching this webinar recording, you may note that this will be available on YouTube. And in YouTube, there will be a description with the link of the timing. And you can watch specific part of the recording by clicking on that link. For example, you are interested in see, seeing a demo of a specific function, how to export, let's say, masters from Tally to TCAT Pro to Excel using TCAT Pro. You can go to that particular specific function. We know that we are living in an increasingly digitized world. And in terms of the accounting software, Tally is the most popular and widely used accounting software in India. So it becomes incumbent on us to understand how to enhance the power of tally so that we can simplify our work process. Especially for the purpose of assurance, we need to extract information from the masters and the vouchers of tally. Tally has got various reporting features from which I can extract information, but there are certain challenges and problems. And this is what PCAT aspires to solve. Now let's look at the problem statement. How can we dynamically interface with Tally to get the required data into MS Excel so that we can apply MS Excel for performing various analysis or we can use data analytics software to perform further analysis. The issue is data exported to MS Excel from Tally is time consuming and even after further formatting may not be usable for further analysis. In fact, the genesis of the TCAT software was born from a demo which I did for one of the clients where we were giving a demo of data analytics software and they said, can you export the data from Tally to Excel and perform the data analytics features? And when we exported the data from Tally to Excel, we found that there are a lot of formatting issues and we are not able to perform most of the functions. And that's why we discovered that there is a potential for developing a separate solution where we can export the information or the data from Tally, putting to masters or watches to Excel in a structured format. So the sum and substance of this discussion is getting data from Tally into ML Excel for further analysis is a big challenge due to formatting issues and also the time it takes to get this particular data. This is where our solution TCAT Pro and TCAT Enterprise comes into the picture. This software 
helps you to interface with Tally to get the master's transactions and reports from Tally to Excel in a structured format. In a short file from now, I'm going to give you a demo of most of the functions and show you how simple and easy it is to use the software. Now let's see what is TCAT Pro all about. So if you look at briefly, it's highly useful for audit and accounting professional CXOs and compliance managers. It supplements the simplicity of Tally with the power of data analytics of MS Excel, or you can use the data analytics software. You can extract masters and vouchers from Tally to Excel. You can also export registers from Tally to Excel in a structured format. The important thing to remember is the data is exported in a structured format, so it becomes easy to analyze the data in Excel. You can extract any specific information. For example, you want data pertaining to specific ledgers or you want specific ledgers belonging to a particular parent or a group, you can extract this information. Or you can extract all the transactions from the daybook from Tally to Excel. Or you want the data in the ledger voucher format, which means for each of the transaction, you want the ledger along with the corresponding ledger in each of the rows, you can get this information. So the key aspect is we dynamically interface with Tally to export trial balance also, and this could be of different types. And you also have an option to append or consolidate the trial balance for multiple companies. You can also perform further analysis as required in Excel or in any data analytics software. Let's look at the competitive features of TCAT Enterprise and the Pro version. So if you look at from the point of the pan panels of the menus, in the case of the TCAT Pro, you got three key functions in the configure docs in the profile menu. I'm shortly going to show you that. You have the accounting where we have 20 functions in the case of TCAT Enterprise and 10 functions in the case of Pro. In the case of inventory, a cost center and payroll, which you can use for the purpose of extracting masters or roaches of this particular modules. You have 21 in Enterprise and 15 in the Pro module. And similarly in registers and the tools, you got 12 and nine. The most important thing, analyze panel has specific functions for extracting reports of scrutiny, which is ledger scrutiny, exceptions, and summaries. And there are 12 key functions pertaining to this. And this is available only in the TCAT Enterprise version, and it's not available in the Pro version. So the primary objective of the Pro version is to help you to export masters and vouchers from Tally. Whereas in the case of TCAT Enterprise, you can also perform various other functions, audit functions, and extract some additional reports. Now, if you look at the menu of TCAT Pro, this is how it looks like. You have got TCAT Pro, and it is an add-in software to Excel. When you install the software, it sits on top of Excel, which means you need primarily Excel to be open to be able to use the software. So when you open Excel and you click on the TCAT Pro tab, you find the menu specifically in TCAT Pro available to you. For example, I told you, you have this uh, open tally panel, you have the profile panel in which you have the general info and the master info, you have the transactions panel in which you have the daybook functions, bill wise, ledger wise, you have the trial balance panel where you've got six types of trial balance which you can do and also have the consult option. You have the inventory panel, cost center, sales register, purchase register and general register. In all these cases, you can extract the transactions and also the masters. Now broadly, as I said, add in software to MS Excel with more than 35 functions for extracting data from Tally, enables user to import the masters from Tally directly into MS Excel. I think this is wrong. It is not possible. You can export only the masters, provides all the information in a structured format so you can perform further analysis. It also provides registers from various modules and you can extract information from Tally as reports are directly extracted through query and XML. So it means in the case of Tally, when you want information, if these are masters, you can directly get it through an SQL query or through XML query, where in the case of transactions, we have to send we, we have to send an XML query through which we get the XML data, and we have to read the XML data and convert it into the Excel file, depending on the specific information required. Now, why do you need to use TCAT Pro? This gives you a synopsis. 
It supple supplements the simplicity of Tally with the power of data analytics from S MS Excel or any other data analytics software. You can extract data of masters or vouchers or registers from Tally to Excel and generate various types of reports. In the reports are available pertaining to audit or MIS only in the TCAT enterprise version. And based on this, you can perform further analysis as required. So the bottom line is you can export from Tally to MS Excel and it's highly simplified. So that's why we say TCAT Pro is the one-stop solution for importing data. Okay, this is not importing data. This is exporting data of masters and vouchers from Tally to Excel. Oh, sorry. It's importing data of masters and vouchers from Tally to Excel. So it means you can import from Tally to Excel. Or you can say you can export data from Tally to Excel. Okay, these are panels which I told you. Now let's look at how simple it is to use the software. The systematic approach for using TCAT Pro. The first thing is open Tally and select the company. You can open Tally directly from the TCAT Pro or you can open Tally directly and select the company in the period for which the data is to be imported. Identify specific information you require, whether masters or transaction data or any report or registers you require from Tally. Open MS Excel and click on the TCAT tab. Then you can use the specific function of TCAT to get the required data into MS Excel. And depending on the volume of the data, this happens in a few seconds to few minutes. Once you've got the data, you can also review the data in Excel and analyze as required. This gives you the salient features of PCAT Pro. Let's look at some use cases. A CA firm providing assurance services wishes to implement standard audit program with detailed procedures for the client for using Tally. So what are the process to follow? The CA firm uses TCAT to export all the masters with configuration and perform profiling at the manager level to identify exceptions and identify specific areas for review. The audit manager with the audit staff reviews all the masters and the configuration settings for all the modules which are exported from Tally to profile the data and to guide the audit team on specific or the detailed audit procedures to be performed. So what are the benefits of this? It saves you a lot of time and you can keep your audit focused on specific areas which you require. You also have standard audit documentation process, which is followed by all the members of the team. And it also improves and enhances the quality of deliverables to the client. And you can provide validation to the client because you can perform the audit in much shorter time and provide more quality deliverables. Now let's look at case number two. The CA firm wants to improve quality of their assurance service by implementing standard process for review of compliance and conformances for the clients who are using Tally. The CA firm used TCAT to export all of the selected transactions for all of the selected period by exporting debug coaches and the ledger coaches to verify the compliance and to identify transactions which are outliers. Shortly, I'll show you all these functions through the demo. So once you've done that, you can use the Excel feature itself or you can use the data analytics software to perform various types of analysis. For example, you can use the pivot table to summarize the data. You can use the classy function in ECAT to summarize the data, group the data, and you can also specific functions, identify, uh, use specific functions to identify exceptions, outliers, and also to verify the conformances. So based on this, the audit manager can review all the registers and the reports, identify specific areas which require detailed review based on the exceptions or the outliers and based on which the detailed audit program can be prepared or updated and provided to the staff for the purpose of execution. And once the staff performs the audit and comes with a detailed audit report, this can be reviewed in detail by the manager to prepare the final report. This is a use case three. A CA firm is auditing a multinational trading company which uses tally with accounting, inventory, bill wise, and cost center modules. They want to use the reports of masters and transactions export from Tally to update and standardize their audit plan and program. Okay, and they are performing this from their virtual office. So you can export all the reports using the TCAT from the panels and menus of the accounting inventory in the cost center, which means you can export all the transactions specifically pertaining to each of these modules. And then you can perform a deal analysis and they decide what are the specific areas you want to focus on. So what is the advantage? It becomes very easy for you to analyze the information. For example, let's say there are TDS and these are TDS is available in four accounts or five accounts. You can extract all the TDS accounts pertaining to all the ledgers 
whether TDS at 2%, TDS at 10%, or TDS pertaining to specific areas, however the grouping has been done, however the ledgers have been created, you can group them together, extract this information pertaining to TDS in one separate, in one single worksheet, or also as separate worksheets, and do further analysis to verify whether the TDS which has been deducted has been paid on time. So the advantage is always is you can save time and also implement a standard process which is followed by all the members and the dependency on specific staff is removed instead of that you don't have ad hoc but you have a standard process which is followed by all the team members this is broadly what i wanted to give you in terms of the theoretical concepts i want to spend about 15 to 16 minutes on this now i want to take you to the practical demo and show how pcat pro works so thank you very much let's move further you can also watch the webinar recording of this video and also earlier webinar recording from our website. Now let me close the presentation and we will get started with the software. Now this is the brief description of the software. Now if you see here, I've got a list of the functions which are available. This is also available online on our website. You have the panel menu and the functions. Now, let me show you the software itself. I've clicked on PCAT Pro. Now, if you see here, you have got the open tally. So it means you open tally using this, you can open tally. If tally is already open, this will give you a message that tally is already open. You have the profile. If you see here, you have the profile. In profile, you've got two functions, general info and master info. As the number of functions in the case of PCAT Pro are limited, we have, ensure that most of the functions are available in a single click, which means you don't need to navigate through panels, menus, and functions. Directly, most of the functions are available to you on the screen, and you can click at one go and get the result. I'll show you a little later for each of these functions. And this brief description tells you what the function accomplishes or what you can do through this particular function. For example, general info, you can extract the general and statutory information from the tally directly into excel you have the master info where you can extract master information from various modules pertaining to accounting inventory cost center or compliances from tally to excel then you have the transactions if you see the transaction panel you have the paybook bill wise ledger and cash and bank transactions these are the types of information you can extract these are all pertaining to the transactions if you see here profile gives you the master info where a transaction gives you the transaction details. Similarly, there are six, five types of trial balances and you also have the consolidated function. Then you have the inventory. In the case of inventory, you have the inventory transactions, which means using this, you can extract only transactions which have got inventory. You also have the masters pertaining to stock summary and in stock item, you've got different types of masters which you can extract. Then you have the cost center. Here also you see it's structured in the same way. You have the transactions, and then you have the masters in the breakup, and you also have the category pertaining to the cost center. Then you have the last three categories, which is the registers. You have the sales registers, where you can extract the sales vouchers. You can extract the summary, or you can extract the sales details in a columnar form. You also have the purchase registers, same details, vouchers, extract summary, or you can get the columnar report. Similarly, for the journal, you can extract vouchers and, and you can also extract the summary information. And in case you want to search any of the functions directly, you can use the search and run function to perform any specific function. So if you look at the total number of functions here, so you have 37 functions which are there in TCAT Pro. Whereas if you look at comparatively, in the case of TCAT Enterprise, You have 77 functions. Now, if you look at TCAT Enterprise, now this is what I said. In the case of TCAT Enterprise, you also have the analyze panel where you have the audit features. Okay, you have the statistics in which you have got various functions, and you also have validate where you can validate the patterns or the GSTN number. Okay, in addition to that, you also have some queries and the query masters. So this is the difference between TCAT Enterprise and TCAT Pro. Now let's get started. Enough of theory.
Now let's look at how to extract this information. The simple route is, let me close all the worksheets. Let me have one blank worksheet open for the purpose of extracting this information. Now let me come to tally. In tally, now I've already opened two companies. The company which is active company is Iris ID Technologies. Okay, this I've got data for April to, I think it's up to 15 November 2021. Now let me look at the statistics of this particular data. Now, if you see there are about 355 vouchers and these are all the masters which are available. Okay, now let's get started and check how I can extract. I'll give two simple examples for this. Now, I've already opened the company. Generally, it's preferable you keep only one company open, but in this case, I've kept com one company, but you should know that you'll get uh, information, but to, let me just to be on the safer side. Let me pick this one company, which I generally use. Let me change the accounting period for this. And the data is putting to 12 to 13. I close this so that we don't have any confusion. I close the other company. I'll come back to this a little later. Okay. Now this is a company pertaining to 1213. So you don't have the GST details. For the GST details, I'll come further. Now let's look at the statistics of this company. Now I got about 1,144 watches. Now you got the masters pertaining to various types. And this is from 1st April 2012 to 2013. Now my first objective, I got a blank sheet. I want to get started with TCAT Pro, I click on TCAT Pro. I want to get the general information from this. I click on the general info. Now you see, it tells me, these are the six types of information which I want. I say, select all and I say, yeah, okay. Now you see all this run through sex, actual queries and you got this information. What are the type of information you get? You can get at one glance, even without getting into tally, what are the feature, security features which are enabled inside tally for this? What are the system information? This all becomes part of the audit documentation. What is the statutory information which has been set for the company? How it has been set up? Then you have the license info of the software. Then you have the company features which are enabled. For example, let's say, are they using cost center? Are they using accounting in integrated inventory? Are they using bill wise option? So all this information you can get at one glance here. Okay, so you can see what has been enabled. You can also know what is not enabled. So this gives you an idea to decide what are the specific areas where you can do detailed analysis. For example, sales order is not enabled, purchase orders is not enabled, discount enabled, they're not using. So you know what has been enabled. You also know what has not been enabled. Based on this, you can also prepare your audit program and decide which are the specific areas you want to focus on. Next, I come to the company info. This gives you from the company master, the general information about the company. So I got the master info in one glance. I'll open one more blank sheet. Now I come to TCAT Pro, I want to extract the master info. So master info, now if you see here, there are various types of masters available. So let me just pick up the information pertaining to the accounting and the inventory. Okay, let me pick up all the information. Now, if you see here, we have got here six, and here we've got about eight, 14, 18, 21, 23 types of queries I have going to run and extract all these 23 reports. Okay, let's see. Now you see here, it's extracting all the information because they're running so fast, you're not even able to see what are the type of reports is being extracted. See, all these reports are extracted. See now here, not only that, it prepares an excellent index file with the link and a summary of the information in each of the worksheets. This is what I said, it becomes a part of your audit documentation. So this pertaining to inventory. Now you can also now have extracted all the masters in one worksheet. You can also do it in separate workbooks so that you don't have any confusion. For example, let's say category analysis gives information pertaining to the category, stock category. The group summary gives you the stock groups. Then you have the cost category. Let me expand this a little more. Yeah. Now I have the personal tax, which is pertaining to salary details. Now I have the salary information, which is from the payroll package. I have the employee info. TDS rates, income tax details. Then you have the cost category summary, how the cost category has been set up, what is the summary of that? The ledger cost breakup, pertaining to the cost category, the cost center breakup, and also the configuration for this cost center breakup. Next, you have the stock item list, and then you have the 
inventory balance pricing configuration which has been set how the pricing is been set for each of the items now if you see here in most of the cases they are set it at average cost but in the case of ibm computer they set it at fifo that is for the costing whereas valuation they are doing at the average price next we have also the base units then you have the inventory balances now in tally you should remember when it's minus which means it's a debit now you have the item configuration and then you have the stock item details now there is a plethora of information available to you using which you can do various types of analysis for example you want to look at the inventory you got the stock of the inventory so you can just go to the inventory balances remove what is blank now you got this information this gives you the complete information pertaining to the opening balance and you have the breakup you can also look at the total sales details and based on this you can know okay whether it tallies with the what is given in the ledger or what is there in the actual stock this for the opening balance similarly you can also look for the closing stock you can also find out if there are any negative items here in the case of inventory it also gives you name parent category and the base units which are there for them now it also gives you summary of what is the inward inward what is outward what are the closing balance now you have the go downs and you also have the expense ledgers now this gives you the details pertaining to the expense ledgers for example let's say i have got this expense ledgers now let's say i want to pick up the indirect expenses now this tells me what are the indirect expenses which have been created now not only that now here i see there is an issue directly when i look at it i find in indirect expenses there is an opening balance of 9000 rupees now this i know very clearly this is a wrong classification this is a prepaid insurance this should have come under assets instead of that it has been classified as an expense expense i can uh, note note this down and rectify this in tally or tell the client to rectify this so similarly let's say if you look at the direct expenses i have the direct expenses now once i got this information in uh, excel that's what i said is structured format it becomes very easy for me now if i want to sort this in ascending or descending order it becomes very simple now let's say i have got this information pertaining to indirect income now you can use your imagination decide how you are going to analyze this information so here you got discount received you find there no discount received you also get to know on what date it has been altered let's pick up the last one here in this case which is the direct income and look at what are the income ex income head they have created they got amc and the sales and advertising so i get to know what are the closing balance for the particular year it also gives me the closing quarter and whether tds is applied cost center is applied what to the gst hsn all the details are available at one go you have the group configuration for the tally accounting heads groups then you have the voucher types for each of the voucher type what has been set to automatic or manual you can get to know now you should know that in the case of automatic tally will automatically do the numbering whereas in the case of manual whatever is entered manually will be taken as the voucher number now both of them have their own pros and cons which you can analyze and de decide how you are going to audit that particular type of vouchers now here you got the all the ledger groups and here it gives you the list of all the ledgers it gives the opening balance the closing balance and also other details now gst related ledgers in this case there will not be any gst related ledgers because the data is very old now if you see here i got all this information and i got this in a few seconds i had spent more time in analyzing the information rather than extracting the information from tally now i'm just going to close the now what i do is once i extract the information i save it in a separate folder with the name so that i can also decide what further analysis i'm going to do for each of them here i'm not saying because i'm not using this further now i have come to a blank sheet now let's look at the transactions i got the day book i click on the day book now this got a gold mine of information now here it tells me automatically that the accounting period is from 142012 to 313 13 okay don't bother about the accounting period so i've just taken this because this is got a model data and this was prepared by tally itself for testing various features now it gives me by default the transactions the relations i am not interested in the party name i just want the transactions for the full year i can also decide i want for a particular period okay it also tells me whether i want to extract specific voucher types 
and whether I want only optional vouchers. For example, some entries are passed with optional vouchers. I can also extract only optional vouchers. I can also say whether I want all accounts or accounts which are greater than zero. Okay, this is what I've got, simple. I just selected the financial period, which is by default, and I'm going to say, okay. Now you see there are about 1,500 plus vouchers. All this data is getting extracted from tally in XML format, and that XML format is being converted to Excel in a structured format and presented to you in one workbook. See, as we're speaking, we got this information. If you see the total number of rows, about 2,911 rows, and this is the data pertaining to the full year. And the beauty of this is I got data in a structured format. How is it structured? If I go inside this, if you see here, I get to know for each of these particular months, okay, the data is available. Okay, similarly, if you look at ledger name, you don't find any blanks. You find all this data is structured. And for each OCHO type, I've got this information. For example, I want to audit the journal entries. I pick up only the journal entries. Okay, it tells me these are the journal entries which are available. Now, in the journal entries, I want to pick specific journal entries pertaining to, let's say, go down rent. Now, this gives me the complete J is pertaining to go down rent. Now, here itself, I find an exception. The go down rent is generally 18,000 rupees. We have passed one test JV for 12,000 rupees to identify the exception. Let's say I have the office rent. I want to pick up the office rent. I got the office rent. Now here it looks like office rent is generally 75,000 rupees. Whereas here I find the amount is 150,000 rupees. And when I read the narration, I find the rent was enhanced by rupees 25,000 and deposit rupees 25,000 rupees additional was paid. But the accounting entry which has been passed is the full amount including the deposit has been debited to the office rent account. So I know that's an exception and I can mark it here or I can make a note separately, extract this information keep it in a separate working paper and say this error in this particular data. So I know what is the rent payable which has been passed. So in this 850,000 rupees excess, I have to reverse it. And then I got the one lakh rupees which has been made. And I also know whether they passed the entry for each of the months. Here, based on this, I also find that the last journal entry they passed is for February, which means they're not passed the journal entry for the month of accrued office rent, sorry, payable office rent, office rent payable for the month of March. Okay, so I can pick up any information I want and do the analysis directly in one worksheet, which means I got the complete ledgers in one worksheet and I can scrutinize depending on what I want. Let's pick up one example. Now I've got this cash. I want to pick up all these cash transactions. Okay, now this gives me all these cash transactions. The beauty is because I got the data in a structured fashion, I want to do the analysis and pick up what are the payments which have been made more than 40,000 rupees. I just apply the filter. Now you see here, immediately I know that there is a withdrawals of one lakh rupees from the bank, 65,000 rupees. These are all the contra entries. This is sales from which they have made a cash sales. Okay, so I get to know there's a contra which has been passed. Okay, now here, let's say I want to pick up information only pertaining to the payments. This gives me all the payments. Now here I go and sort this. Now I get to know there's a cash payment of 45,000 rupees and the narration missing here, missing here. Now there's a cash payment again of 36,000 rupees. All the amounts which are about 20,000 rupees, I can directly pick this directly from here with all the details which are available. Okay, this is what is possible. Now, let's say you want to say that, now I have this information, but I don't have the details about what is the corresponding ledger. For that, I've got another option, where for the cash, I'll also get one more column where I get the corresponding ledger. Okay, so this I'm just showing you how you can extract the information depending on what you want. Now, can you apply Excel? Yes, you can definitely use Excel. For example, let's say I want to create a pivot table based on this. I select this table. Now I want the ledger name, okay? And I have the debit and the credit. And I also I have the sum. Now if I want the count, I can also select the debit and the credit and I can get the count and I can do further analysis. I can get the, it's like an automatic trial balance of the transactions which have happened during the year. So I can get the count with the summary. Not only that, for example, in the case of expenses, I can also see how many times that expenses have been incurred. 
So this is what I said. Once you have the data, you can apply the Excel functions. You can filter and analyze the data which you have. Now let me do one more last thing in this. Let's say I'm going to pick up the receipt here. These are all the receipts. And in the receipt, now I want to pick up the information. Let's say I just go and filter this in ascending or descending. Okay, this is the HDFC OD account which has been, this is the withdrawals which has happened. Okay, now I want to see other than HDFC what has happened. So I can remove the HDFC account and see who are the other parties who are paid and why did they pay. Now here also I can get to know cash. Now these are the amounts which are received in cash, which are more than 20,000 rupees. And what are the reason for this amount to be received in cash? I can analyze. So this, this becomes a simple report easily available to me so that you can analyze further for the purpose of tax audit. Okay, this, what is the type of analysis you can do? I'm just giving you some examples. Once you've got that information, you can analyze in the way you want. Now, let me come back to TCAT Pro. Now, I've seen Daybook. In Daybook itself, I got various types of information. I got the Daybook here. Now I said day book. Now let's say for this day book, I'm just going to pick up one, one small period. I have got this ledger, but I want to know under what heading this ledger has been created. I'm just picking one so that I can demonstrate quickly. I want the name of the parent and the primary group. Okay, I'm not interested in the uh, transaction type. Let's say I want this information, which means along with the ledger name, I also know under which account they have been created. So in this case, it joined the table for the ledger names with the groups and it extracts this information. Now, if you see here, I got this information. Let me hide this information pertaining to narration. Now here you see for each of the expenses I've got with the parent. Now here I can directly go and pick up the information pertaining to specific expenses and do the analysis. For example, let's say I'm doing analysis pertaining to let's say TCS. So what are the expenses which are coming under TCS? I can extract this information. Or let's say I want to pick up information pertaining to the cash or data or any specific area, I can pick up that information. Let's say I have this data pertaining to salaries. Now, these are all the payments which have been made for salaries for this particular month. Now, I did only for one month. You can extract for the whole year. So in this case, what did we do? We use the same daybook report and we analyzed it further. Now let me show you one more interesting thing. Now here, let's say I go to extract. Now I'm coming, no, before extract, let me show this. Okay, I have these transactions. I've got, similarly, I can extract with the cost center or bill wise or only inventory transactions. Okay, now let's come to extract. When I come to extract, I can extract the transactions of specific ledgers based on the parent or group. For example, Let's say I want to pick up ledger containing, let us say, office rent. Now it shows me all the ledgers which have this office rent. I say office rent. Okay, not only that, I'll show you one more interesting thing. I'm extracting only office rent. I want this information in a trend line. Okay, now let me see. I also have some additional options here. Let's see what is that you can get in the trend line. So office rent, I should be able to get a trend line for this so that I can get to know there's one issue in this. Now it has extracted the information pertaining to the office rent, but it is not able to create a trend line. There's some issue in this. Okay, let's come further. What I would like to do is come to my software daybook. Let's do other analysis, one more analysis. I'm going to extract this information and let's say I'm going to pick up the parent. Here I'm going to pick up the indirect expenses. I've got all these indirect expenses. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to extract this information, all this information, and I want this in a columnar format. Okay, let's see how we get this information. This is another way you can do a 3D analysis of the expenses head. Now let's say you've got TDS or any expense for that matter, now it's actually extracting all this information. Not only that, it actually organizes information in the form of 3D report, which means for each of the expenses, what the corresponding ledger will be created and you will have the complete structure. Now, if you see here, I have each of the ledger names for each of the ledger names, 
what are the corresponding expense is there in the columnar fraction okay this you can't get this information in this way even in tally also for example let's say i have got this uh, courier charges now i want to see what are the courier charges or let's say i want to pick up this cash which i was telling you to all what all accounts cash has been paid i just pick up the cash here now if you see here cash it tells me under printing and stationery and i can do further analysis here i can go and filter i want to pick up only one so here i got printing and stationery twice it has been paid okay similarly let's say i remove this filter i get to know that staff welfare expense has been paid now here if i got this information like i said the important thing is i can also sort it if i sort this i get to know on ascending or descending order what are the expenses now i got this membership fees so i can analyze the information because i want to get the complete information of each of this so i can get the complete expenses not only that because i got this in excel i can also analyze what are the expenses for each of the head of account and see whether in is are there any variances in any specific month for example here you see there is the advertising expense of 2 lakh 30 thousand rupees which is a sub substantial sum okay now there is a membership fees of 20 thousand rupees so i can do the analysis directly here in a columnar fashion okay so just in the day book hidden in one small portion of a tab you have this powerful function called columnar okay where you can extract the information pertaining to the columnar for any ledger or specific group of ledger you can extract this information when you have this ledger let me show you one more specific function i got this parent okay let me pick up the again indirect expenses i got all this indirect expenses i can get all this indirect expenses in one go i can get them in separate worksheet for each ledger or i can get all the expenses in one separate worksheet in one single worksheet okay or in this i want to extract let's say business promotion expenses let's say conveyance or courier expenses okay i also want the electricity charges i want only expenses pertaining to this and i want in separate worksheet so let's say it could be pertaining to gst or tds anything for that matter i say okay all the transactions pertaining to these specific ledgers are extracted and given to you in a separate in separate worksheets not only that if you see here i had this debit column of business promotion expenses then you have this uh, conveyance electricity charges so here itself you can do a ledger scrutiny at one go here now immediately you find there is a general entry past no not general entry this is a closing balance of the electricity charges for each of this expense you can analyze for example here you see 75000 rupees electricity charges has come here in electricity charges office now how come we have 75 thousand rupees electricity charges so we can review this transaction and check the details so this is what i said you can extract specific information pertaining to specific ledgers now i'll show you another two three features in this in the day book itself now i want month wise transactions i can go and select month wise transactions and i can select the specific month and based on this i can say i want all the transactions and i say okay now it tells me the specific month based on this i can select the transactions for the particular month or the quarter and i can get them in one worksheet now what is the purpose of this function suppose you have a voluminous data where it is let's say they got 50000 transactions it may take a long time to extract the day book for all the transactions in that case what you can do is you can use the month wise option to extract the information pertaining to each of the months not only that this also has got an option to when you say select all it also has got an option to append the files which means it will also create a file where it will append all this and also add the month for each of the transactions now let's come further to dbook now if you see here you can also convert xml to if you get an xml file from a client now you can also convert to xls or you can convert xml as excel now another beauty is i have this monthly reports for example let's say i want this monthly information pertaining to let's say let me pick up this indirect expense itself
Okay, I select. Yeah, I got this indirect expenses, and in parent, I select the indirect expenses. Okay, this is what I got. All the ledgers are available. Okay, I'm just going to pick up some examples. Let us say I picked up the electric charges, entertainment expenses, and let's say the higher charges furniture. These are three. This one I have. So I include ledger with no transactions. I want combined closing balances. I want a spark line. I select this. Okay, I want spark line and a chart for this particular ledgers. Now, if you see here, when I select this. Okay, in this case, there is a small error. So what should happen is you should be able to extract all the transactions pertaining to this monthly and then also generate the spark line for this so that you can get an overview of what are the expenses and you can identify the exceptions at one go. Now this will take a little time because it has to extract the summary based on the month wise. Not only that once it has extracted the month wise, it also has to generate spark line. What I'll do is I think, yeah, we have got this. See the beauty of this particular report. I got for each of the ledger names, I got the select which has go down. Not only that, I get six types of six, one, two, I think six types of charts. Now just imagine if you're able to present this information, you can immediately get to know. You can analyze in one go. So you have to see here, entertainment expenses. Okay, the only one expense which is there. Now you got the highest charges for nature. Now it shows the trend. So immediately you can know what's happening with this type of expenses. Okay, this is what I said is the beauty of this particular software that you can extract. Now it also creates a spark line, which means for each of the expenses. Now I can also see how the expenses varies. Okay, if there is any major variation, I can immediately sense that. It gives me for each of the months. And this is a new feature we added recently. Okay, so if you are doing analysis, just imagine if you're doing analysis, it becomes very, very easy for you to do various types of analysis just doing this. Now, there are various other software which give you ready-made reports based on various 30 types of tests or 40 types of tests. Now, we are planning to uh, come with a uh, new release where you call it as TCAT audit, where we'll give you, let's say, a bundle set of tests. But here, we have left it completely open to you. We give you the information, you analyze and decide what are the exceptions, what are the irregularities, and how do you want to treat it further. So we have left it to your imagination to apply your knowledge and skill sets of the business domain which you're auditing to identify errors and exceptions and also to verify the compliances. So this is what I said is the day book transactions. You got various things. I showed you the extract, the month-wise you can extract, and also the monthly. Okay. Now let's go further. Now let's come to the next one, which is bill wise. This is very simple. If you say bill wise transactions, it extracts all the transactions where I got bill wise details. Which means these are transactions pertaining to area where only bill wise is available. For example, here, if you see, I'm just going to hide the narration. See, for the bill wise, it gives me the information for each of the parties, what are the bill type, what are the bill wise debit. So if you're looking at, let's say, the receivable analysis or the uh, data of so the credit analysis, you'll be able to get a complete picture for all the transactions which happened and how these have been adjusted. And we're able to get this in one glance at one go. If you want only for a specific ledger or a party, you can also extract that information. So this is what I said is the bill wise. So if you look at bill wise, you can select the specific period or you can pick up based on specific voucher types. And you also want to add the parent, you can also add the parent so that you can know when you take bill wise, you want to know whether it belongs to the data or creditor, so you can also do that. You can also do a column wise analysis based on this. Now let's go further. I'll show you one more interesting thing, which is the ledger wise. For example, here, this is the ledger voucher. To save time, I'm just going to do it for one month. 
Now I'm going to extract the ledger voucher. Now just look at the difference between the day book and the ledger voucher in terms of what is the result you get. Here, what it does is for each of the transactions, you remember the day book we had? In the day book, each of the transactions came in multiple rows. For example, you had the payment and for that corresponding ledger, if there's one to one, one to many, these were given in single rows. Whereas in the case of ledger, for each type of a transaction, now if you see here, I got the ledger name, I got the corresponding ledger name, and I get this amount. Now, same analysis if I'm doing, let's say, like I said, I want to do for the office rent. If I want to look at, let's say, the office rent, now this I picked up only for one month. I can know office rent, and there's been the corresponding ledger for this is Kavita. So then I can know for the office rent, whether the corresponding ledger name is same for all the months, or it has been for any other account. So the advantage of the ledger voice option is, like I said, you can extract ledgers with the corresponding ledger name. Not only that, here, if you want to add the corresponding parent, you can also add the corresponding parent for the ledger name or the corresponding ledger name, both. Okay, then it becomes much more easier for you to analyze for each type of transactions, who is the parent. You can also extract ledger watches based on, like I said, daybook extract. You can also extract ledger watches for a specific ledgers or specific group of ledgers. You can also extract this month wise. Now I have this cash and bank transactions. This is also very simple. As the mean, as it, the word says, you can extract the cash and bank balance transactions or separately the cash transactions or the bank transactions. Let's say I want to extract only the cash transactions for the purpose of my tax on it. So I'm just picking so that it becomes simpler. I picked up from 14 to 31 3. Now I see here, I get all the cash transactions in one go. In a few seconds, I got this with the narration. And this pertaining to all the cash transactions. Similarly, I want only bank transactions. I can pick up only the bank transactions. And this is what is about the transactions we can extract. Now let's come to the next part, which is the trial balance. I have this trial balance. I can extract multiple types of trial balance. Let me start with the first one, which is the closing ledger trial balance. So I'm just picking up the balances of the closing ledger balances. It gives me the closing ledger balances. Now you see here, in a few seconds, I've already got this. Okay, this gives me for all the transactions, what are the closing ledger balance? It also gives along with that the opening balance and the transactions during the year. So in tally, as I said, when it's minus, which means it's a debit. So let's go to the next one. I want group wise. It asked me whether I want this. I say yes. So now it gives me a group wise trial balance. Now let's say I want the trial balance based on ledger wise. Now, one of the challenges we face is I got this ledger name. I got this ledger name. Now, when I get the trial balance from Tally, quite often the group will come above it and will be bold and you'll have the totals of each of this and it gets jumbled up. Now you want to prepare the accounts as per schedule three or you want to prepare the final account. It becomes very cumbersome process to analyze. For that, we have got a specific function where you can extract the trial balance with the group. So this is a function. In this case, there's a small issue. I'm not showing this. So here, when you say ledger with groups, what it do is along with the ledger name, it will also add the group. So it means you can analyze the ledger based on the group. Then it becomes very easy for you to link it to your balance sheet or the schedule three details. Similarly, I got the period wise, this is another interesting statement, type of trial balance which I can get. Okay, let me close the multiple sheets. It's always better to keep only one worksheet open so that you don't have any confusion. Okay, let's finish this. I got this open. I got this trial balance and I say I want yearly trial balance. I'm not interested in yearly. I want, let's say, half yearly trial balance. Okay, so I want only, let's say, the closing balance. I want only the closing balance. See, now you've got the trial balance for the half yearly. So let us close the other things which are not required. Yeah. Now I had this half yearly. Now let me pick up the quarterly. Same thing, I go to period wise. Now I'm going to pick up the 
quarterly. Okay, I'm going to quarterly. And then here also I say, I'm going to pick up only based on, let's say, I want only based on the closing balance. Okay. Now this gives me trial balance for each of the quarters with the debit and the credit. Now let's make it a little more interesting. Now I want to see the trend of these expenses. So what I'd like to do is, I would like to have a monthly trial balance. Let me open a new sheet so that we can see how it looks. I don't have any information on this. Okay, I just have a blank here. I've got only one worksheet open. What I'd like to do here is, I want to extract the period wise. This is what I said, you have a gold mine of information where you can do a lot of analysis. I've got this information. I'm going to extract monthly. Okay, but there's one interesting thing here. I want to add the spark lines for this. Now in spark lines, it tells me, how do you want this information? You want the debit balance first and then followed by credit balance because it's going to add a spark line for each of the rows for each of the ledger names. Okay, I pick up the first option, debit followed by credit. I say, okay. Now just imagine this, what is happening here? It is actually creating 12 trial balances for each of the months. Not only that, it's also adding a spark line. And here it gives me first debit followed by credit. For example, for each of the debit, it tells me what the parent is the primary group. It gives me the closing balance for each of the months. Okay, this for the debit balances. Looking at this itself, I can get to know the pattern as to how the expense is varying. Okay, now if you see here, in the opening stock, there seems to be a lot of variance. Here also you see investment, there seems to be variance. I can see the trend pertaining to this. Similarly, I have this credit balances. Now if you see here in the credit balances, uh, this pertaining to credit balances, I have this information. Okay, so I'm able to see the spark line like this. Not only that, we have the where accounts where they have both debit and credit balance. In this case, it's summarized and given like this. Okay, after debit minus credit. This is what we had. Now let me open one more trial balance. So let's see, if can we make it look more interesting? So just, just imagine the type of analysis you can do based on this. You can spend more time in analyzing rather than extracting the information. Leave the extracting to the computer, to the software. I got this monthly. I'm going to pick up Sparkline. And here I want debit, credit, and the debit and credit balance separately. Now let's look at the difference, how it comes. So here, once again, I got the trial balance. Now you see here, the debit, it becomes very easy for me. All the debits are available to me in one page. I can get to know, do the analysis. For example, let's say I pick up the expense account. Let's say I pick up the rent account whether it's been paid, what is the uniformity in terms of these expenses? I'm going to pick up the rent account. Yeah, let me pick up the code on rent here. Okay, I can see in the trend here. So in this case, it looks like there is a small variation here. So I can see the variation immediately, okay. Similarly, I want to pick up the information pertaining to any ledger, I can do the analysis here. Because I got the information pertaining to each of the months. Next, I have the credit. And then I have the debit and the credit. Now, I don't want this information. What I'd like to do is I want debit minus credit so that I don't have any confusion. What the software will do is I pick up the period wise. Okay, sometimes it goes to the background. Yeah, so we have this information. Okay, let's come to the other sheet, which is the blank sheet. Yeah, so I have this blank sheet. Now I come to the report. Yeah, when I'm doing a Zoom demo, sometimes uh, Zoom demo, sometimes some of the screens goes to the background. Okay, let's see, I have this monthly. Okay, what I'd like to do is, I want to pick up the spark lines. And in spark lines, I want to combine debit and credit and I want debit minus credit. Okay, this is how the competition has to be done. So what it will do is, it'll give me based on the debit and credit after subtracting, not only that, it also tells me what the regular debit balance and whether it's a credit balance and it gives me the trend analysis for all of them in one shot. 
Okay, now using this itself, I can do a lot of analysis and find out all the exceptions. Now, if I got multiple companies open, I can use a consolidate feature. When I use a consolidate feature, what will happen is, Okay, what companies are open? If there are four companies open, all the four companies will be displayed. I can extract the trial balance for all of them. Not only that, I can append the trial balance and get the consolidated summary of this. Okay, let's see what else is open. Yeah, let me quickly come back to my Excel. You're already running behind. Okay, now I'm just showing you this TCAT Pro. So I showed you, these are the features in the trial balance. The transactions part I've already covered. For example, you want only inventory, all the transactions pertaining to inventory can, will be extracted. Let's see how it looks like. I got only inventory transactions or all transactions and I can get this information. Let's see. Same thing, I can also extract for specific inventory item. I can also extract inventory based on category like that. I can do various analysis. I can also get a monthly report for each inventory type. I can see the trend. What are the in uh, what are the inward, what are the outward, and what are the closing balance? Now you see here, where are we got inventory? All the transactions where inventory is involved is shown here. So if you see here, these are the details pertaining to the inventory. So you have the inventory item, what are the quantity? It also shows you uh, what is the type, which are type based on which the transaction was completed. Same way, I can also extract the masters. I am not going to the masters. Let's say I got the cost transactions. I go to the cost center transactions. Similarly, I can pick up the active financial year or I can pick up the current period. Let's say I'm going to pick up. I got this for only one month. I'm just picking the transactions pertaining to cost center. This will extract only transactions where cost center is involved. So you can check whether the cost center has been correctly applied as per the policy or rules of the company. I can also extract specific cost category or cost information depending on what I want. For example, the company got a policy. See here, you got the specific category. But in the specific cost category head office, you want to see a cost center, you can also extract this information. So here we are talking about inventory cost center. Now let me show you the last five minutes I'll take. I have the sales registers. I want to extract only the sales vouchers. Okay, I'm just picking up the sales vouchers. It will extract only the sales vouchers. Similarly, I can also do for the purchase vouchers. Let me show you one more. Here I have this extract. Now this is another interesting summary information. I can extract the details or the summary. Let's say I'm wanting both. Here you see, for all the transactions which happened, it gives me the summary of this. Uh, here it gives me the details. Okay, which means it adds the parent to the primary group so you can know what are the transactions which happened based on the extract. Now you can also get columnar. Like I said, columnar, you can also get columnar for this. Let's say I'm going to select only one particular month. You'll get the sales register in a columnar fashion, which means all the sales which happened, you'll be able to get in specific columns. It's like a 3D analysis of the sales information. See here, you got for each of the ledger names, the corresponding ledger name is given. So you can do a detailed analysis for this. The same way you can extract information pertaining to the purchases. You can extract the purchase vouchers. Let's say I'm going to pick up only one month. I can extract the purchase vouchers. I can also extract the Purchases, let's say I'm going to pick up based on the summary. You see, most of the cases are very, very simple. You have to just click, select the data which you want, and then you'll get this information. And it's up to you how you analyze it, depending on your need. Okay, you can also get columnar. Same way, I can also extract only the journal watches. Let's say I want all the journal transactions that happened in this particular year. I can get all the journal transactions only. I can also get extract, which means a summary of the journal. Let's say I want a summary. For all the journal vouchers which are there, it like puts a pivot table and gives you the information. 
as to what are the transactions happened in the year so that you can do further analysis. Okay. Now, the last part of this is, like I said, you have the search and run. You don't know which function is available here. So you can just click on the search and run. And you can say, I want to pick up a specific function. Let's say I want to pick up pertaining to the cost. So it tells me the transactions pertaining to the cost center. I can just click on this. It opens that particular form. And I can run that report. So directly it opens that particular form. So search and run is directly to search a specific function and extract that. OK, so this is just a quick synopsis of what is possible through TCAT Pro. To summarize, what you can do, let me show you our website. I think you'll get a quick idea of what we discussed and what is possible. Now, if you go to TCAT, as I said, TCAT Pro and TCAT Enterprise. If you go to TCAT Pro, this is what I said, why use TCAT? OK, this gives you what are the salient features, how to use. This is a comparative analysis. You also got videos. This gives you a PPT pertaining to this. You also got some videos. Okay. Another interesting part of this particular is particular information is, let's say I want to know intro. I can go to the intro page here. I can go to what, why, who, all this. Now let's look at the functions. Now I want to know a quick glance of all the functions which are available. You can get the complete information of all the functions available for all the, in the software here. Okay, you want to pick up, you are interested in, let's say a particular panel. Now let's say you want to see what are the type of reports available in inventory and cost center. I can get all the information pertaining to only the inventory panel or the inventory menu. Similarly, I want to know what type of accounting reports I can extract. I can get this information pertaining to the accounting. So you have a gold mine of information pertaining to this. You want to see the use cases. You can directly see the use cases here. So this is how you can get a complete synopsis of what the software is all about. So if you see here, we started with the analogy that you can amplify the value of assurance with automated solutions of WinCAT. And in the case of TCAT, whether it's a TCAT Enterprise or TCAT Pro, now let me look at TCAT Pro. There's only slight difference that I said. <coughs> you can export from Tally to Excel, and this is highly simplified. You know, in most of the cases, there is very little time to learn because you can just click and get the report. And it's all up to you as to how you analyze it, depending on your need. OK, now if you want to uh, explore the software, there is also an option for you to request a free trial. You can do, go to request free trial and ask for a free trial. You get a seven day free trial. Now, let's say you want to place the order for this. You can also go and place the order for this. You can buy the software. You can renew. You can also get it on rental. All the software, this will be part of the TCAT suit. So when you click on TCAT suit, you get the pricing. Now you also have this one year, two year, three year pricing for each of the software. Okay, not only that, you want to take on rental, you can also take it on rental basis. Okay, now you want, you want to watch the webinar because you want to explore further. You can go to trading and you can go to webinars. When you go to webinars, now this gives you the list of the upcoming webinars. Okay, this is today's webinar. Now, at the end of the day, this will be updated to the next webinar of the next month. Okay, now you've got the recording pertaining to this. Okay, we have this TCAT 17 number was the last webinar we made. Tomorrow, if you check, you'll have today's webinar recording available here. Okay, you want to watch the video, you just click on this. You can watch the video of this particular recording. For all these about things, for what uh, eight recordings are available here. You can click on this and you'll be able to see the recording of this particular webinar. Now you want to, see YouTube. let me click out on, uh, take you to YouTube because I want to show you one more interesting thing here. When you click this and see it on YouTube, the advantage is, if you show more, yeah, let me stop here. Yeah, let me pause. Here if you see, I also have the linkage with the timing. So you are interested in seeing, okay, how do you export the trial balance? You can click on this, you go directly to the trial balance. So you can go to a specific section based on this. I want to see the demo of the export. Sales and trust will give me this specific information. Uh, this is how you can get this information. Okay. 
Okay, I hope you got information about what you're looking for, and we have been able to provide you a quick overview of what is possible through TCAT Pro. Like I said, the difference between TCAT Pro and TCAT Enterprises, TCAT Enterprise has also got additional audit features, which is not available. It also got some additional summaries and additional functions, some more additional functions for further analysis, which are useful for audit. Do you have any questions or any feedback? Uh, no, sir, no questions. Thank you, sir. It was a very informative session. Thank you. Thank you. If you have any queries, we'll get back to you, sir. Definitely. You're most welcome. Okay. Thank you very much. And namaste. See you in the next webinar. Oh, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.